back to my channel so I'm excited to show you this video this is my aquarium nail done by Polly gel and if you're interested to stay tuned and keep on watching you're gonna need a flat tip and then you're gonna need one that is also a really deep C curve tip the really deep C curve tip is going to be your tank so it has to be smaller than the flat tip the flat tip I used is just a regular full it's a full well tip so if you was to put this on a client if you want to put the whole well tip you can but because i don't do that i'm going to put the full well tip probably like a little bit above the free edge so we could put the poly gel on the natural nail also but because we're using my nina today we're going just to put her all the way the nail tip all the way in there so i'm taking some glue and i'm going to glue down the c curve tip just enough to where the tip is not moving anymore you don't want to add too much glue because the glue is just going to go inside where the tank area is and then you won't be able to use like no water or no glue because then the glitter will just stick to the glue and the poly gel so you don't want to do that so i already prepped this nail it's already filed and i did already put a base gel so my poly gel will stick onto this so you want to make sure that you do file this area here and all the areas you're going to put the poly gel on because if it's not filed it doesn't have a texture surface it's just going to peel off and then it's going to create a complete mess trust me i've done this like about five times and i've learned along the way that poly gel is is a very very strong it's very strong so you don't need that much glue but if you do it wrong, it's gonna just be like a clump and it's not gonna work. So this is where the water and the glitter is going to be. So make sure that the tip is a little bit smaller than the actual tip you're putting it on. So I'm going ahead and I'm putting the base gel wherever my poly gel is going to be. The base gel is also gonna help seal in all those little cracks that you didn't see. But don't worry, the poly gel will seal everything just make sure that wherever you put this poly gel you put the base gel because we need a sticky surface so this is what i'm doing i'm making sure that i have all the base gel wherever i need it because i don't want this aquarium nail to leak anywhere so today we are using easy cosmetics poly gel gel like this one's actually one of my favorites it's easy to work with i do have many favorites but you just want to put the poly gel wherever you need it to be sealed. So we're going to go on the sides and then we're going to go on the bottom. So we're only going to put the poly gels on the sides and on the bottom and on top. We're not going to put the poly gel on top of the tip because poly gel, when you file it or, you know, you buff it, it gets a little bit dull. And then you can see the scratches. And I wanted this aquarium nail to be extra clear. So we're not going to put the poly gel on top just yet. But you do want to make sure that your brush is nice and damp because you don't want too much alcohol when you're patting down this poly gel. I also used baby oil, a very thin baby oil for this tank. You could use water, but the water is just going to evaporate after a while. So I do use baby oil. Or you could just get the actual solution that was created for aquarium nails. But I don't know where that's at because it's been a couple years since i've actually bought anything with aquarium so i just used baby oil and it works totally fine so after you cure this in a lamp then you want to come with one drop of your oil first okay Make sure you put one drop of your oil first. I didn't show that because something happened to my camera. And then you want to add your glitter. See, if you put one drop of the oil first, then the glitter won't stick. If you put the glitter first, then the glitter is going to stick. We're using poly gel and we're using glue. So the glitter is going to stick into the corners. And that's one of the mistakes I made with the acrylic. So this time, add your oil first, then your glitter, and keep on adding your oil. This is a messy process, so make sure you have napkins. Make sure you do this a little bit at a time because if you do it too fast, the oil is going to go everywhere. Then after this, then you want to take your poly gel, the clearest one that you have, and you want to just flatten this out until you make like a little cap. You want to cap it. Now, you don't want to add too much pressure because we use a lot of oil. I didn't want to 
create um, a tank without not enough oil because then the glitter is not going to work so I did create a little bubble that bubble is gonna help that glitter move so that's why that bubble is there I think that bubble makes it look so cute though <laughs> but yes you just want to pat it down to make kind of a little cap okay and you want to cure this in your LED lamp or your UV lamp if you have an LED lamp then you could cure it for a minute two minutes depends or if you have a uv lamp make sure you cure it for the whole amount which is two minutes now you can see i did not go on top of the nail tip because poly gel when you file has a little bit scratches and it's not as clear so i didn't do the poly gel in the middle i use my ibd hard gel you could also use any ibd you have any gels you have top coat if you have top coat you could use that too if you're using hard gel just make sure that you put the gel on from like swipe it from side to side and not in circular motions because then you create bubbles and you don't want bubbles because we're trying to make this part the clearest ever because we want that aquarium look it is so important to make sure that you go over with even if it's top coat or whatever you have over the nail to make sure that you cover your tank because you don't want no little holes nothing no oil seeping through any cracks so we're going to take some more ibd gel and i'm just making sure that this is nice and sealed and then i'm going to come back and i'm going to just buff this down i'm not going to use my file i'm just going to buff it down until it's smooth after we buffed I'm going to use my IBD intense seal to make sure that I seal everything the free edge the sidewalls the tip of the nail everywhere and then I'm coming before I'm not curing this yet but I'm gonna take my Swarovski crystals and I'm just placing it on top of the IBD intense seal and then I'm gonna be putting this on my LED lamp So this is what it looks like it is beautiful I am in love I didn't add too much glitter like you know hexes or anything I just wanted it to be just a glitter experience because of that bubble I really like how it looked like I really like how the poly gel worked it was so fast for me to do this no liquid I needed I didn't waste no monomer it was just all poly gel and I just feel like I'm really liking this poly gel I really do. I love, love this aquarium tip. I'm going to be doing more. This is my first poly gel aquarium tip, so I'm pretty much sure that I will come out with, you know, more ideas. But yes, aquarium nails have been out for so long. I've tried acrylics, I've tried gels, and I had to try poly gel. So if you like this and you're going to recreate it, please let me know because I want to see how you do yours. If you like this, thumbs up, leave a comment, and I will see you in my next video.
watching. See you next time.